Ahoy, hoy, ahoy, hoy, everyone. everybody. How's it going today? We are here at the in the Tricky Brick Studio. It's Friday. It's oh my goodness, spring. I'm so glad it's Friday. The sun is shining through the windows in there. It is. It's, it's, you know, it's streaming through, yep. you might say. Get it? Are we, See we what I did little, there? Are we out of focus here? We are a little out of focus. I've got some like... Wow. Uh, yeah, actually, it's probably better that we're a little out of focus. You I'm think just gonna so? going to back up. Just put some gauze over the lens. It's a sock. Please. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just like put a whole athletic sock over the lens. Clicky, can you help us out? Oh, it's so funny. Clicky is all like space creature. It's these true. Days. It's true. Yeah, I'm just gonna like just back off just a tiny bit more there. I'm not quite sure what's going on. We've it's, got a... it's the autofocus is on. Well, yeah. There we Look go. at That's all the these people in the chat. Hi, Hi everybody. By the way, sorry. What well, we gonna noodle and noodle around on stuff? Um, I'm also gonna try and see if I can't just bring that um, our. Our top above, light? Above light down, because you kind of got a light I'm mouse. a little like a mirror this morning, right? It's true. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a beanie to start wearing. Or, you know, like Some a... Some kind of clever hat. Series of wacky wigs. <laughs> a, Lego, <laughs> a series of Lego hats. Yeah, I could do um, that. <laughs> oh, well, I got to say... Blair always has a Lego hat. I, I, make, like, he does have a Lego it. hat. Um, I'm not sure that you could pull off a Blair look. No, well, he and I... <laughs> we can do your own version. We'll Blair and I version. are actually different people. <laughs> I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, hello, everybody. So, let's see. We have got a great show today. We've got um, a ton of really cool mosaics. Um, mm -hmm. If you were around on Sunday or uh, Wednesday, we had an epic show with yep. a bunch of really great people. We had uh, Mel was here, Corey was here, um, our friends from Lego Masters, our Lego Masters family, and Br we had Brick Huntress, um, Brick Huntress, was, Huntress here. was here. Kate came on and um, showed us a lot, and we worked on mosaics and kind of got, um, you know, mm. got stuff ready for today. Wilfred and, says, or oh, maybe a 3D printed Lego hat, indeed. I'm up for that. I'm, <laughs> I'm up, totally for that. up for that. Something that looks like Benny's hair or Ninjago would even be better. That yeah, would be great. agreed. Well, um, let's see. So, what have we what have we got? It's Friday. Well, we're gonna we say don't hi to everyone. News. We've we're gonna made, say hi. We've made a lot of progress on our huge mosaic. We did make a Actually, lot of progress. Actually, progress that you, you designed the mosaic and I helped put down a ton of dots. And it's gonna take more zhuzhing. So I'm I'm sad to say we're gonna be presented with an incomplete uh, mosaic today. But it's um, it's an yeah. opportunity for more Lego building. It is, isn't it? It's always an opportunity. It's been there. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. What do we got here? All right, we've got pins. We, we do have pins? pins, yeah. Can you tell that we were completely organized sitting and ready in front of the camera? For the last right, half hour, right when reviewing it our notes. <laughs> okay, we'll see whether he looks like he's from outer space today or not. I'm featuring, wow, his glasses. There we go. Oh, autofocus is off. Pluto. Like he, it's nerdy Pluto. Oh, yeah, it sure is. He has lime green glasses, in case you were wondering. And I've got a... I've got a, a Mickey hand, which pretty much sums up how I'm, like, feeling right now. Really? Like, kind of like... <laughs> there. Yeah, see, I've got the hand. I could see that with, like, a giant... <laughs> Mickey head. <laughs> do what you're gonna do. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. Well, I barely right had time to eat and get coffee this morning, so I gotta. Yeah, mm. but you went to the spa. I did go. Well, the shower. Yes, I showered before <laughs> we came out. And then I do have my awesome um, Cuphead mug that our friend Dave uh, gave. Right, both of us did. gave us for Christmas. I love this. Um, and mm. look, look at this background behind us too. Yes, yeah, so our background our today Alex is by um, is by Brick Built Babe, who did this um, amazing project for um, a friend of hers for uh, a holiday for Christmas, I speaking believe. Speaking of mosaics, and um, speaking of mosaics, I think um, we have some mosaics coming up. Yeah, um, I have a crazy idea. What's that? Let's go completely out of left field here and say hi to everyone in the chat. Let's say hi to everybody. Let's see who's here. I think we can. That was a sports metaphor. Oh, did you hear right. that? I I think maybe I did. <laughs> but like all <laughs> like all sports things, it just kind of sailed on over. 
and I'm noticing, um, yeah. So uh, Alex23 is here, Alexander23. Apples is here from Europe. Aubrey Kovacs, how's it going, Aubrey? Bricks O'Brien, how's it going, Brian? Good to Bricks, see you. Brickman Mosaics Art. Uh, Brickworm. Chris and Jaden Super Duo Chalice. Yes. Uh, Cowboy Cornado is here. Ahoy, howdy. Dan, Dan Bakken. How's it going? I know you're going to love one of the one, one of the mosaics that got done for today. It's pretty amazing. Uh, Darren Siegfried is here. Uh, Debo Bricks. Fabby Fan MKE. Gergenzola. Holly is here in the house. Hooded One. Uh, John Williams. How's it going, John? Joel Marbella. Joel Marbella is here. Yano River Blue. Hi, Yano. Uh, Miguel Medina is here. Mini Fig Chick. Monica Berry. Uh, Patrick Wismer is here. Rob Ketcherside. Robert Rob Zaccardi. Zaccardi and the Zaccardis. Lana, Elena, and Vanessa. How's it going? Uh, let's see. Uh, Jake, Jake Savage, Savage is here. Awesome. Who continues hey, to build crazy, amazing things. Exactly. We're seeing and pictures. Always, always great stuff coming from him. Uh, Smoke Up Johnny is here. The Hornburgers. Ahoy, hoy, Hornburgers. Uh, a Vincent Farrow is here. How's it going? I think I don't know if I've seen your I'm name not sure, before. but welcome or maybe either you've been way. Under a different name, or we just forgot. But hi and welcome. Um, and Wilfred is here. Bonsoir. And Ken Tarantino. Um, awesome. So, uh, oh, and did we catch John Luttrell? You know, because people pop in as we're going. I know, so that, uh, it's all alphabetized. Yeah. So you know what? I noticed that. Um, uh oh! I noticed that we're having a little bit of issue here. So. Oh, uh, let's see here. Yada yada, you can't see beyond the edge. I'm sure. No, it's well. I gotta move the TV over. There we go. Okay, look at Just that. Gotta get that. Hey, Seat of Your Pants Productions presents the Tricky Bricks Building. Check. No, presents the thing. <laughs> I saw this thing. I saw this thing on the web that was like a little flex fill. It was actually a green screen that fits on the back of your chair, so you're in some like Emperor Palpatine sedan chair <laughs> kind of thing. I Take prefer to green think screen of it. With you. Um, oh, Lego Cat Creator on a different account, <clears throat> Vincent. There we go. Oh, right on. I like to think of it more as like a Morticia Adams chair. Oh, well, that's good. That's, you know, to each their own. <laughs> See, we're different people too. We are. So, okay. So I was um, mentioning uh, my uh, my friend Dave, who got me the um, who got me the these cups. Who got us these cups yes. for Christmas? And then I um, he also came by the other day to present some. Uh, Awesome, a couple of vintage sets. This is so unique. I haven't seen this before, anything like this in Lego. Um, so this is, and uh, let's go to the down cam. Top cam. Look at that. This is from, uh, it's an adventurer set. Sorry, this isn't the thing from the crypt, actually. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. <laughs> it's that's, not. This is just a cool that's coming. set. Pangela hasn't even been here yet. Um, so this is, um, and actually the other one, darn it, the other lantern dropped off, but this is from, um, Orient Expedition Adventures set. It's got, uh, Johnny Thunder here. Look, it has a play function. It kind of is, though. You're right, Holly, but it's not the official one for today. And then it's, yeah, it's got a, uh, uh, the switch through, but look and then at that take crazy this figure. figure. Look at this crazy figure, you guys. This is nuts. Okay, so this comes off. Right? This comes apart. And the arms are Technic pins. I'm going to let you show that, and I'm going to be right back. And you know what? You can show this one, too. So but you I could, have to dash especially. For one second. If you had more than one of these figures, you could make, like, you know, a four armed character. I don't know. Get They're really out. cool, and I hadn't seen them before. So this one. We have uh, right over there in the old studio that's not like this. Um, we have an adventurers um, set that's oh we're in the top cam here that's um, Anubis as a sphinx and this is a tiny version of that and it's got where is it? It has a secret storage place in there. We have the original instructions. This is set number 5938. Um, and I won't take you through all the instructions, but it's got this great um, hieroglyphic sticker in there. So I'm just so excited to have a tiny Anubis 
Sphinx, it's like a micro build of that other set that we just love. And that, that came with the freestanding Anubis figures, too. Here, I'm going to put this over here. Here it is. Here it is, Matt. Sure. Welcome back. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Hey, I, in an expert way, with completely, heard. completely prepared remarks, I took people through the, um, the Anubis Sphinx which I barely remembered the name of. But we also had stand-up Anubis um, minifigures in that, too. Yes, those are the, and those are some really highly sought-after minifigures. So I am, I'm excited. So, so thanks, Dave. Gosh. Thanks, Dave. Let's see. Dave has, um, you know, also from Dave was the um, a generous gift, was the Technic helicopter. Yes. And the Moonlander, the original Moonlander we built. Oh, yeah, in, for your birthday. In blue. That had this like a, awesome. I don't know, a set number, like crazy 200 or something really early. So I was thinking, well, that was sort of like a, that was oh. sort of like a thing from the Lego crypt, but now we're going to do like the official thing from the crypt. Oh, were thing. you, were you, was Angela running late? Angela was right. Well, there's a different thing from the crypt. This just happened to, you know, we need to maybe do this a is an older vintage thing. thing yep. So, all right. Anyway, here we go. So today's thing from the crypt. Mm -hmm. So you know we've featured records in the past, but. Well, this, I was I was going through our um, this and, one's and invisible. This is, yeah, we'll show this one in down cam. I actually got this at a um, whoa. I actually got this at a uh, was it a, a yard, yard sale? sale at a yard sale, and I'm gonna take us down to the down cam. Let's see if I can go. To now, was this top cam? Was this that that yard sale um, in between the mission and the Castro? Yes. Where we also see this is one of these things where we had a group yard sale and we tried to sell stuff, but we, we ended up taking more stuff home than we got rid of. So you can see that it says Tote 45 on the top. And look, and this one in avocado green as well. This is a thing that you can have. Um, to, to stash your 45 records in so that you can take them over to somebody's house when you have a record playing party. I'm just saying, you know, people used to do that kind of thing. Although it, these are old and scratched now, so it doesn't bother me so much, but I can only, like, in the, back in the day, this would have driven me crazy. Oh, they... I would never stack records like this. But mm -mm. then the funny thing is, I was always so careful about them in my collection. But then I had a cheap record player and the arm would come down and they would go slam on top of one another and start spinning. So it wasn't real gentle. So and I wanted to show you. So some of these are actually um, hang on one second. I'm going to try and see if I can't get our. Uh, focus this a is bit kind of like this. the covered dish casserole version of the DJ setup, right? Like this is bring them to the buffet. So I'm going to show you. This is what. So now some of these are actually mine from when I was a kid, and then there's one. Re there's another really special one in here. So I've got. Um, let's see what we've got here. Should I stay or should I go? By the Clash. Um, some of these, you know, I picked up at thrift stores over the years. This one is, oh yeah, Rose Royce car wash. <laughs> right um, this is an original. This is one of mine when I was a kid. I was from the movie of the um, same name. Yeah, it, it's um, yeah, love that. Oh, this, here we, we go. We listened to this classic. This morning. I think I love you by the Partridge Family, and look at that awesome label, right? That's so great. See, we go from. I was a very strange child. <laughs> Our wash. See, this is like and another Partridge version family. of sticker set show and tell. Um, oh, here's another. This is another this is original great. from when I was a kid. Blondie, Heart of Glass. And I remember vividly my parents. Um, I, I got this in an Easter basket. Really? I got records You're... in Easter baskets twice. Once I got Heart of Glass by Blondie. And then the other time it was the Flash Gordon soundtrack. Wow, some, some good taste in music there. <laughs> right? That was awesome. They got you Queen. That's, yeah, that's awesome. Um, so, uh, Prince, little red Corvette. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, Donnie, how's it going? Uh, let's I see. see. We've got um, Gypsy Stramps and Thieves by Cher. With and as Flynn points out, Cher with an accent over the E. Yeah, there is to an make accent. it just that much fancier. That much more, uh, um, you know. Yes, fancy, extra. Oh no. Okay. So okay. Here's you see an... the different worlds. Um, the thing about being who we are here, Chris Chalice's first seven inch was I think we're alone now by Tiffany. Oh, 
So this this is another one of mine from when I was a kid. Hotline by the Silvers. I used to listen to this song and dance around my now, is that room. The I was super Silvers? into this. Um, what, Are no, they the same thing, the Silvers and the Foster Silvers? No, I don't think so. This is a uh, um, you know hotline, hotline. Calling on the hotline for your love, for your love. It's an awesome you need, song. You need the claps. Yes. Oh, now, now here. This now, one. this one I got at a thrift store. Obviously, this was not mine, but you can see what it is. One of our favorites here I on the had show. This. I had Convoy. this as a 45 when I was a kid. <laughs> by C.W. McCall. <laughs> he may have been a one hit wonder, but what a hit, right? Every, everyone was singing Convoy. Two Doors Down. Dolly Parton. Oh, and look at this great label. This is Gold Dust Woman by Fleetwood Mac. Okay, now here's a really special one. I, I don't know Fleetwood if my Mac. mom's here today or if my dad's here, but this is Link Ray and the Ray Men, who are amazing, like, you know, surf guitar y type music. And this is their version of Rawhide. This was my dad's that he then passed on to me. And I used to listen to it all the time. And I got completely mesmerized by what this would do when oh, you when started it spinning. spinning around. Um, oh, it would because spin it around. seems to reverse direction, right? Yeah, yeah. It was, I know, it was always. <laughs> okay, this one. I... <laughs> this is classic. Classic okay, R&B. This is also one of mine from when I was a kid. This is by E.U., is the uh, artist, E.U., from the School Days soundtrack. At three minutes and 54 seconds long. So this is 1988, so I would have been in, like, oh, no, this would have been after high school. Yeah. And, but, and this, but this was still, uh, this still was original mind. It's called Da Butt, and if you've never heard it, you need to look it up, and <laughs> we listened to it this morning. <laughs> it's a very thoughtful song <laughs> wouldn't you say poetic <laughs> so I would have this would have been before I moved to, to the Bay Area um, and I would have had my I had my own place and I still had a 45 record player and my my 45s so there you go there you go thing from the crypt that was whoo that was crypty <laughs> Well, and, and you know when these were that was from, crypty. Well, it, we're not in down cam anymore, but the mm. avocado green on this other one is very telling. So that was today's um, thing from the crypt. And speaking of, and Eric uh, actually, who's in the chat, brought up a really good. Um, uh, uh, brought up. He was asking if we had collected any of the video album cover tiles, and we have got yep. some of them. Not a lot. No, we, we have, have a few so them. far. Yeah, so I, I do kinda... miss album cover art. I mean, I guess that's an old story now, but those like the big bifold, you see all the art on the inside, and then you pull it out, and the paper sleeve has art on it, and then it's a translucent colored record disc as well. Yeah, it's like sorry, a whole I'm... adventure in music. I agree with you, and I'm also doing so. I know. <laughs> a little bit of sorry. It's it is a day, y'all. I'm it gonna is a start day. doing that news thing where they always there's like the story of the kitten that got rescued from the tree. <laughs> like someone found their minifigure after years, you know, gone after years of being stuck yeah. under the 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 washing machine and turning into Rex Danger Vest. Rex Danger Vest. Wow, why did I I sound like some kind of I don't know. Ed McMahon this morning. I don't know. Just like I'm echoing what he says. Rex Danger Vest. It's, um... Do you want me to get that, um... Why don't I get that bagel for you? That would be awesome. I think I'm suffering from, like, lack of food Low blood and sugar, lack right? of coffee and... Wow, you guys. So, this is, like, taking me back to the middle of the pandemic when we were, like, slowly losing our minds. I know. It's so much more... It's spring. <laughs> it's spring has sprung. <laughs> All right, so I, um, yeah, the video things, I do love those tiles, I gotta say, and we do have some of them. I've got some of them here. Here's, uh, um, oh, yeah, see, they're keying out. Well, that's what happens. But they are really good, and I really like them, and I love this, um, I love this 
werewolf minifig. Yes, Bricksman Mosaic. Sorry, I find your lack of coffee disturbing. Me too. Believe me. All right. So how about we head over and um, start looking at this slideshow? Because we have a lot of slides to get through today. We've got um, the challenge this week was mosaics. So let's go ahead and see what we got over here. All right, very good. We got a bunch of submissions. We did get a bunch of submissions. So this first one is from, thank you. Um, this first one is from Amper Up. And this is called Undertale themed. Now I haven't played Undertale, but I am familiar with it as a video game. I just have never played myself. Um, but very nice. I love the heart. I love that it's very uh, eight bit. It's got a, a very eight bit look to it. Super bold. You could you could read that from across the street. Yes, which uh, I think is a mark of good graphic design. You can yes, make it out far away. Yes. Oh, very nice. All right. Uh, here we go. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. This is this one's from Avernus Workshop. This is called October Edibles by Charlie Harper. I've been working on this for the past two weeks, and it seems like it's technically a mosaic, so I wanted to share it here. It is. I'd say, sure. Um, this illustration first appeared in an issue of Ranger Rick in the early 1970s and features his signature cardinal as well as a squirrel enjoying some autumn treats. <laughs> Harper is one of my favorite artists, and I hope to honor his legacy while introducing him to new generations. So this build will be posted to Lego Ideas soon. Last-minute feedback and suggestions are appreciated. Thank you. Well, it is just beautiful. Okay, and, and I have to say, I was a huge fan of Ranger Rick when I was a kid. I, we, I had those magazines um, and loved to read them. I was super, super into them. I'm trying to figure out the winter branch right now. What are what are those dots? I think this is a bigger piece than it initially looks it like. It is. This is a. Pr I have to say, this is pretty. This is probably pretty large. Um, well, and if you look it's at the clips, like, I want to guess. If I had to guess, I'd say three thirty-two by thirty-two base plates. Totally guessing here, but let me know. That, well, when that's I, right. When I look at the clips and bars on the bottom, they all look really small. Yeah, it's it's really, really, it's really, really fantastic. I love the face on the squirrel. Hey, Sio Connors here. How's it going, man? We're just looking at the um, we're just looking at the, our uh, mosaics for today. Um, we've got um, yeah, this is our Ranger Rick by Avernus Workshop. I love it. It's... I love the eyes on the... Now, are those actually black tiles on the eyes on the cardinal? Um, Or is it just open space? I think the face on the cardinal... It looks like tiles. Right. It is. So this is the original, by the way. Now, the, oh, well, I love... I just love the recreation. Yeah. Look at that. It's perfect. And I love that you created your own branches um like rather than using like the the Lego branches, which are of a similar yeah. shape, and you well, could have totally done. They're right on. Wow, just fantastic! Hey, just build it is here. How's it going? Well, this is a good example of how building big can give you much finer details, right? Those branches are so much thinner because it's such a big piece. How do you do the um, the tail? Um, it looks like are those rods, like are those sticks, not plates on end. Uh, no, it looks like little the sticks with the little cuff around the huh. end. Perhaps. Jake Sadovich says, thanks, guys. Just watched the butt video. <laughs> I think it <laughs> may have been very f influential for Sir Mix-a-Lot. I forgot to say that, that it was kind of like the predecessor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, all right. So, anyway, check out. Uh, this is great. Avernus Workshop. Check him out also on Instagram. He's got a lot of really fun stuff. Um, yes. Oh, my, my apologies. I should have said... Ranger Rick is um, a, a American or U.S. Uh, North American um, children's wildlife uh, magazine um, that started, I believe, in the 50s, maybe even earlier. But um, anyway, really beautiful. A great original design. Oh, I love seeing them side by side. Yeah. Very, very cool. All right. Oh, wow. Wow. This is 
so beautiful. Look at her. This is from Brett Hooper. Uh, and this is Griebled Mosaic of Princess Tiana and the Frog. Yeah, look oh. at all the griebling on her face is wonderful. It's really, really beautiful. Remy says, thanks, everybody. Um, they're busy today, but trying to lurk. So <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, I love this. And I love a Griebled Mosaic. Yep. This is when I, the other day when I was talking about our friend Jason Masir making the stuff out of people's um, junk. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's basically a greebled mosaic. Um, well, this is just look at beautiful. the ornate frame around the princess and the frog. Yeah. And then I wonder what that tiny tile is with the crown on it. I don't know. Nope, oh, nope, we don't get a close up. Sorry. Here, you know what? Let me, uh, here, I'll do a little you fancy do... footwork real quick. A little behind the scenes. A little scenes. zooming in. Yes, yeah, so you can we need see to look the at this detail a little closer. in her face and in the text. Yeah, this definitely needs to be seen closer up. Look at that. The highlights in pink. Really the, I love that sort of Disney outline around all of it, the dark outline yeah. around her face and the frog. It's a friend's crown. Very good. And the green whip. Uh, the green whip there is fantastic. Wow, this is just, I mean, it's just beautiful. Her necklace. Uh, yeah, the necklace, the gloves, like, it's all just, and I love, of course, the, those uh, neon orange propellers for, like, um, fireworks. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just perfect. Wow. Yeah, Ooh. and look at all those different blues that he used, too. Oh, and a tiny, tiny little, Gold uh, like, the one ring in yep. there. Okay, let's get this back down to where it'll fit on the screen. Wow, Good Brett. Job there. Epic. This is That's just a fantastic. Fun yeah, really, really. I want to experiment more with, um, or not more, I want to experiment with Griebel uh, mosaics because I find it really fascinating. Well, we personally. did some of that in the Ewok Adventure Land. We, yeah. we started going into that. Yes. Okay, here we Nicely go. Nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this, I mean, this is so realistically recreated. It hardly looks like Lego at all. Like, when I see this, it looks like the screen. Yes. So this is um, from Brick Built Babe. And she says, not exactly a traditional mosaic, but I wanted to recreate Pac-Man, dang it. <laughs> I, I played think. so many hours of Pac-Man and then Ms. Pac-Man. So the, and there it oh, is from the that's side. Great. Very cool. Very, very cool. The nice frame around it. Yeah, let's go back and look oh, at and the Oh, and cherries. Top. There's cherries. Yes. Now, I believe this is a render, um, but it could completely be uh, created. This mm -hmm. is so, this is so great. Wow. Well, this would be fun as a table. I'm going to lean Right? I've camera. never seen anyone do this. And maybe this would be, you know, anathema. Like, ah, oh, how could you ever do this? But I could see taking something like this and then filling it with resin. And then pouring resin over the top so the whole thing's, you know, encased. I think that would make a great looking table. And we have friends who make art out of resin. <laughs> we do. Sorry. <laughs> I was like eating a bite hey, of bagel. Hey, bagel guy. Um, and I didn't want to eat in we front gotta, of everyone. we got to take care of the... the the needs of the flesh, right? Mm -hmm. We're not all in cyberspace. Um, really, really, <laughs> it's just really funny. Yeah, the eyes going the different directions. All right. Wouldn't that be a fun table? Mm-hmm. Well, remember remember when the the tabletop arcade machines used to... That's what makes me think. That's where I played Ms. Pac-Man was on one of those you could do verses, right? Mm -hmm. awesome. Well, I guess, you know, trades. Oh, and there's like it's like teeth for the bottom of the of the ghost. Now I don't. Oh, think... now I was gonna say that's where rendering gets yeah. you out of a tight pinch. Yes, because I think that um, that piece is not available in those colors. I know what piece that is, um, but it's really it's really really great. But in the future, when we have you know the next next generation of 3D printers, mm -hmm. you'll just get a license from Lego, and then you can print your pieces in whatever color you want. They'll say, here, just print them at home. No, okay, that might be a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Brick Belt Babe. Wait, I want teeth in, in pink and orange. Um, uh, let me 
Let's see. Okay, so this is from uh, this. Wait a minute. Hang on one second. Oh, is I'm just gotta, digging on the lamp right now. Of course, I like light. I textures, think right? this is Brickinista, but a couple of things uh, looks like got out of order. So let me okay. open up my. Um, oh, just see what the name of it is. Yeah, uh, if I can find the. Well, that lamp is. on the right with the blue flag to support the shade is so cool. Like this is Brickinista. Really thin line detail. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure, just make sure I got it right. So this is from Brickinista. Um, I have sub uh, I've attached a photo of a mosaic and the reference photo that I submitted for the 14 Days of Simpsons Mosaic Challenge in mm -hmm. February. Um, and I know this was from uh, uh, Brickman Mosaics Art is the one who did this um, this challenge. This uh, oh, Simpsons right on. challenge. Um, I love Well, the... I should have had it. It, it. I'm so funny. I was like, the Salvador Dali couch in the field. You know, the, guy <laughs> the, the project of the couches in the field. Of course it's Simpsons. And that's the reference photo. <laughs> <laughs> See, that blue flag is just perfect. That's really good. <laughs> that's great. The carpet is really nicely done. Just, yeah, really, really, that's really fun. <laughs> oh, that's actually that's so clever. Is it built on a green base plate? So the carpet background there, the wall to wall yep. carpet is the green of the base plate. Very nice. Sorry, I, I, I'm trying well, and, to switch back and forth slowly, but it's good to see the reference photo. And having all that lavender color, that's uncommon. I do love lavender. <laughs> <laughs> This I, this I can't is tell. From Brickman Mosaics Art. It's Kathy, right? Um, Charles no. Schultz, Peanuts, Charlie Brown. It's ah. cl clearly Charlie Brown. Says Charlie Brown as he tried to kick the football that Lucy was holding on a cloudy Sunday afternoon. This is excellent. This is cool. I like the the use of um, full grayscale, mm -hmm. you know, for more texture yep. in all the perimeter. I used to laugh as a little little kid. I had books um of snoopy were my uh the snoopy books were my favorite but i had all the peanuts and i would laugh so much at the wacky philosophical hijinks of snoopy and um woodstock how cool i wonder like i don't see people talking about peanuts as much anymore philosophical hijinks they're still they're philosophical hijinks i mean they were no calvin and Hobbes when it came to philosophy well i feel like i feel like um Peanuts really only happens at Christmas time anymore, like because the and Halloween the Christmas special, and Halloween, right? Because the really great like the pumpkin. Time. But um, I used to love reading these, especially the um, the uh, I had some of the older older ones, like the original ones when they were actually even younger than this, and they had a slightly different look. Oh, really? Well, like when their they were all were, Sally's age, their heads were a little bit more football shaped, and um, it was a little more graphic in a way it's weird you have to see them but this is uh, this is really great it's great and i always oh whoa my oh my um this whoa, is from this brickworm is... um are those with all half round yes so this says um <laughs> Din Djarin may appear to be alone, but do not be fooled. Every Mandalorian carries the training, wisdom, strength, and hopes of all Mandalorians. This Mandalorian mosaic is comprised of thousands of Mandalorian helmets. Now, I oh. saw... I saw that... Um, oh. This is from Brickworm. And I, yeah. I saw that they had posted these little Mandalorian helmets. And then... Uh, I didn't realize that this is what was going to happen. But that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. And I love the way the background light is broken down. the The landscape and the sky is like a Werner Panton fantasy. There, it's so beautiful. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's really, really clever. Now, I'm. I think this. Now, um, correct me if I'm warm, wrong, Brickworm, but I think this is a render or like a, in, a, in a way to move towards making a, a real one. I'm curious. Rob Ketcher said this is high art. Because if you got this done between last week and today, like for real building, I, I would be beyond impressed. <laughs> that, that's a huge so, amount of So building. Brickworm says it is a render, but it is possible to make. So all of these are, are pieces that you can get. Now I want to make this. I know. 
Wow, I'm so impressed, Brickworm. So so impressed. Look at the flowing cape, and that the delicate hand. If you can say delicate about a Mandalorian, the the curve of his hand on the right there. Hey, Alex Q. Ryan is here. How's it going, Alex? How's it going? Hey, you guys, I want you... This is my friend Alex, and Alex and I have been friends for a long time. We used to be in the um, in the video game industry together. He still is. I am now doing this. But I wanted to say everybody should be giving Alex, first of all, a big Tricky Bricks ahoy hoy, and also a thank you, because if it was not for him we wouldn't have this camera that is pointed at us doing the show right now. Back at the beginning... Um, at the very of, start. Very, very beginning of the, the pandemic before, like right before everything got like super locked down, um, I went on Facebook and was like, I think I might do this. And all the cameras were sold out. And he um, he's mm. like, I have this one I'm not using, so you can have it. So he is um, one of the people... Many people responsible for making this happen, but he was really the first step on our way to having a, a, to to doing this. You know, it's it's crazy and it's so easy. There's like jokes on SNL about it and all this, but you talk about public television and when, mm -hmm. and when they say it's made possible by viewers like you, mm -hmm. that is absolutely true. Yeah, like since the very like, there's no way we would be here. Um, so, so Brickworm says, everybody keeps asking what to do with all the quarter rounds they got on clearance, so here you go. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, let's look at that again. Well, the colors are just great. All the tiny Mandalorian helmets. Making up. I just... Look, the green, um, the green reflections in the armor, like, from Excalibur. Yeah, it just... Yay! This is, like, this is yeah... Not that they're not all applause worthy. This one is just got is just clever, clever, clever. Awesome, Brickworm. Um, oh, I like this. Now, I'm seeing the MGM lion here. I, me too. Um, this is from, uh, yes, uh, Chief Brick Geek, Lauren Loveless, Leo the Lion, aka aka Carabre inspired this logo for the company I work for in Vegas. And of course, I ran out of time and pearl gold to finish. <laughs> That's okay. We ran out of time. We we ran out of pieces too. So ours isn't finished. And but I I mean, this is great. I well, love the hatching with the grills. Yeah, the 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 hatching with the grills, the um yeah, just the gold and white. It's just it's Perfect. Well, I just recognize this logo so yeah, clearly, it was like, right? Pew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Ooh, it's mm. a good sound effect. Mm. <laughs> I'll go back and record it, and we can use it's it later. Half of a pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, really, just fantastic. I love it. Mm. All right, and inspired by 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 where they work, which is nice too. I we always love it when. People put personal, you know, like personal things into into their work. I think it's just great. Rob Ketcherside says grills had a great comic book effect. Yeah, well, it's great. It's just it's it has very graphic, lines, right? and it's it's okay. This is getting really art. This is getting arty art uh -oh. talk here, folks. But I love the way that the grills give the whole thing a forward motion this way, and yeah. the lion's face is facing that well, way. Well, he's looking into the frame, right? Right, and it almost looks like like there's a roar coming out of his mouth because <laughs> of the lines. I don't know. That's what I think of when I see it. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Really, really great. Um, all right. Mm. I know. I'm all into, into mosaics now. Mm-hmm. Me too. Like now, I want to do more, and that's something well, I gotta say. Well, he was say. so excited when the when the Scarlet Witch started coming together. Like he was looking at all these images and framing them, and and um, still got, got a lot of work to got do. Very excited about that project. Yeah, I want to do. I want to do more of that. It was just, I oh, man, it was just so much fun. All right. Oh, and then there we go. go. Look at that. I love that people are including reference photos. That's yep. fantastic. So we can see what it looks like. Very cool. Very cool. Well, anytime you execute curves and Lego, right? <laughs> this, I love this. This is from Chris Chalice. I have attached a photo of a mosaic and the reference photo that I submitted for the 14 Days of Simpsons challenge. Oh, no, wait. That is Brickanista's description. That's not... Um, I just copied this from the... 
thing. I'm sorry. I know Chris. Uh, if Chris, if you're in the chat, um, your description didn't make it into the script uh, in here. I think because when you sent it by an email, it probably just got confused. If you could tell us the story behind this particular mosaic, um, I love it. Well, I love those quivers too. It's giving me a. Um, uh, it's giving me like a very Robin Hood feeling. Uh, an archery. Okay. Very cool. Oops. Very cool. I like. Well, I like the um, the use of these because those are hard to use. Yeah. Those um, the ones the arrows that you strap to your back, like the quiver. Yeah. Because they've got that funny little like sideways thing coming off of them. But I think you did a really really great. And it's um, you can reach it in scouting, so it's like a scout oh badge. cool. Really you know, great. I don't know that I've ever. I must not have looked at bows closely enough, even though I've made archers before. But mm -hmm. I don't remember a compound bow. I don't either. Like, the, have you seen the like that the ones on the left there? They're pretty cool. I've seen them in a video game. I'm sure they exist. <laughs> no, I know they um, exist. I just didn't hadn't seen them in Lego. Oh, and he's saying that the target was a custom uh, custom printed brick. That's awesome. Oh, cool. Love it. Love it. Love it. And I like that you use the different colors of, of the bows and arrows, too. Really good. And Clicky was favoring sharp focus on that, too. Indeed. Well, I know who this is because I spent many quarters okay. jumping off the side okay. the wrong direction. I'm going to take a wild <laughs> guess and say this reaches way back in time to Qbert. Yes. So right? It has to be Qbert. Yeah. <laughs> And then oh. that <laughs> <laughs> there, there goes a quarter. Oh man, how many times I jumped off that from like freaking out, like I was afraid I was gonna go the wrong, and then I went too far the wrong way. That's why I stuck with crystal castles. It was three D. Um, it was three. It was three D. It was like early, 3D, early three yes. D. Which so was crystal castles, which was a favorite. Um, so this is from Darren Siegfried. For my first build, I was looking at it at 8 bit, ar bit arcade graphics and decided to build a brick built Qbert. Which is, this is awesome. Um, and then, oh, actually, he's got a couple of more. He's got a couple more, but we're gonna take a pause, pause here that refreshes. It's the pause that refreshes everybody. That's right. Please welcome uh, to the show our very uh, special regular guest. Wow, someone Here was... Here he is! Yay! He napping, Logan! Already at 50 miles an hour. Already. Going Very up to, good. Going up to 100. <laughs> hey, say hi to everyone. Hi. He just gets that extra little, like, lick in his chops. Okay. I'm gonna... No, stay. There we go. We just touch it there. And then Yay, about five years... Logan! About five years, he'll be bouncing it off his nose. another one. Okay, a half, a one last more. catch. Ready? Oh, that was yeah. a good one. <laughs> what a good boy. Yay, Yay Logan. <laughs> Logan cookie time, See, everybody. He guilts me so successfully. He, he comes, comes up, puts his chin on your leg. Yeah, that's his thing. Oh, and you know what? I was just noticing the printed tiles with the question oh, marks. Because he, he always, always made the... He'd always curse at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know... In, in, um, in asterisks and, in and at, at symbols. Yes, and exclamation points. That's awesome. Um, all right. Next, um, I uh, this is still from Darren Siegfried. Next, I was looking to do a repeating pattern mosaic and ended up with this tile titled Homeward Bound. I love this. It makes me think of, um, well, the, uh, the board game Sorry. Oh, a yeah. A little bit. Like with the colors, and you would try to get around, but you would try to get around the whole board, like back to your house. It's like little mini saris. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of action. Yeah, right. You, I can't help but get them all home in my brain, right? Yeah, it's. Uh, I really. Uh, it, well, and, and it's also got like the little houses have a monopoly feeling to yeah. them a little bit. Like it's very uh, like board game uh, to me. It has a very board game feel. It would be super fun. To have something like this, I don't know, on a on a room divider or um, thanks, Bill thanks, Barton. Thanks, Bill Barton. Thank you so much. 
you know, if you had this up on the wall or on a table in your house, you couldn't help but just play with it. Yeah, it's really... Um... Could maybe glue all the pieces down except the meeples. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we call them meeples now. They were just, they were just called pawns. Back pawns, in the old it's day. true. Back in the old days... Um, and then finally, after watching Sunday's show, I had my I tried my hand at studio and made a forty eight by forty eight optical illusion pattern. Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! That is crazy! Wow! This would make an awesome zoom background, but no one would be able to pay attention to anything I you were saying. <laughs> Everyone I would can't. be hypnotized. I am hypnotized right now. That's wow, really this beautiful. Is, this is. That is something else. I love this. I would love to see this, um, like as a real, you know, like a real piece. If you ever decide to do this as a real piece, you should um, plug it together and, um, you know, take it to a convention. Well, this you is know, awesome. I want to go into a into the room where that's the floor. Can you imagine? That would be <laughs> awesome. Um, a a a, mo a Lego mosaic floor would be so cool. Yeah. Wow. I really love this. So cool. 48 by 48. That's a bunch of tiles. That is. Okay. This is from Debo Bricks. And this is, um, Debo Bricks, called, this is called My Favorite Video Tile. So Eric was asking about video oh, cool. earlier. So this uh, Debo is fantastic. Wow. wow. All, the, all the quarter round tiles and the face. No, do we have that one? No, I want it. I love the negative space created no. in the headphones. Yeah, it's really because is, is it so on a, great? It's on a light colored base plate. It looks like because of all the light spaces between. It's the got lav It looks like it's on a lavender base plate because the edge around there is lavender, but that may just be a frame. I'm not sure, but <laughs> whatever yeah, it is, cool. it's really wow. Yeah, I and am the orange, super impressed. The orange. Uh, uh, outline around it is really electric. Cool. Wow, wow, wow. Well, this is like 128-bit. He got... Yes, exactly. <laughs> now we're like focusing down. Uh, wow, this is... I'm so impressed, everybody. I'm really, really impressed. Now, was that a, was that a render, what we just saw, or was that... Hey, um... Denise Delaney is here. How's it going, Denise? Thanks for liking the stream. Appreciate that. Um... Let's see. So, sorry. Let's go back. I believe this is this is like a an actual built mosaic. It looks like it is to me. Um, I want to say that it's. I think it's. This is built. Well, either way, it's really cool. Now I gotta like say, the lavender frame. I you know even though they they do take a long time. Like once you really kind of like get really get going, it goes pretty quick. It goes pretty quick. Like quick. once you're entirely hypnotized by the process and you exactly just like count 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 down. Oh, it's great to see you too, uh, Denise. Everybody, say hi to my friend Denise. I don't know if you can see her because she's on Facebook. I don't know if you can see her comments, but she says hello. Another um old 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 friend of mine. So um oh Debo says sorry, just got off the racetrack. Well, wow. I didn't know there's That's something cool. that I That's didn't know about Debo Bricks. Not to apologize about. Um wow. I wonder what kind but, of what kind of racing? Um so yes, this is a video tile, everybody says in his description it says my favorite video tile, which is great. Um I'm wondering if um, we were just asking Debo if... Oh, Gran Turismo. <laughs> okay, I was like, <laughs> wow. All right. I was, th I was thinking, like, like I don't know. Tauntaun racing? Um, yes, Tauntaun racing. Oh, Denise says she, she just built the Lego Medieval Blacksmith set. So fun. Yes, yes it's a it's great set. Beautiful. Um, I, it's so much cooler in person than the photos, even. Yeah, it really, it really, really is. So, so Debo, we were just wondering if this was like, did you build this? Like, is this a a? a did you use physical bricks? Physical or? bricks, or is this a um, a render? I think it's a real. I think it's a, a like a full piece. That's a lot of dots. Yeah, very cool. All right, uh, it's built on a forty-eight by forty-eight base plate with so, so many, many dots. dots. There you go. All right, Debo, very good. I'm impressed. 
Okay. This is lovely. Oh, Bill Barton says he's partway through building the piano. Wow. That's a set that, I mean, I would never buy it for myself. Holly but I think it's amazing. One. And yeah, Holly built it. I'd love to hear how that is as a set. That seem, It seems very complicated in a good way. Yeah, this it's, it's is co- great. It's powered up, right? I think, I think so, is. yes. So what I okay, so what I love about these mosaic challenges is is I love seeing people who do pictures and then I love pe- seeing people who do patterns. Like it's yep. and we have a nice mix of those here today. This um, one has a lot of depth to it and that shape looks like it looks like that Star Wars symbol, but it's spread across four tiles in the middle. So I'm not sure where that's from. It's uh, dots. It's uh, one of the dots pieces. I think it's really, really cool. So anyway, we're talking about it. We haven't even said whose this is. This is from Fatty Fan MKE, and this is this is candy dish question <laughs> mark. I, I love it. I keep seeing objects I want around the house. Like this would be so pretty sitting on a table. Well, and I love that this has um has the dimension like this has like full dimensionality to it like it looks like it's probably i want to say one two three four five six seven eight eight different layers like plate plate steps up so mm-hmm. like if you looked at it from the side a couple bricks high Storm. hey brick huntress is here hey kate how's it going so glad you're here to check out um and in time to see people's uh mosaics we've been going through them really really great stuff today you could store all your Skittles in this. <laughs> well, maybe not Skittles the dog. Not Skittles the dog. No. Skittles would not fit in an eight, in a in an eight layer sixteen by sixteen. Yeah, I don't think that would look so good. But anyway, um, really, really fantastic. All right, let's see. Oh, this is here. Can we I are look in close uh, at this uh, one. Back to Greeble Land. Um, this is from the Gre- Greebling Wizard. This is my cat, Sammy, who passed away in 2019. Um, he now lives on in, in Lego form. Oh, Griebling Wizard, oh, I'm so look, sorry to hear about that. Look at his eyes and his little nose and the stripe on his nose. Wow. Wow, it's so great. It's really sweet. And the markings, the gray markings on his um, like shoulder and chest. Yeah, just... Oh, this is so sweet. This is really, really sweet. The uh, yeah, the eyes are great. Well, the, we know why he's calling called the Griebling Wizard. It, exactly, it lives up to his name. Um, I love. I just keep getting attracted to that right ear. I just love that like macaroni tile with the other pieces. Um, yeah, it's really, really making me want to do these Griebled. Uh, these Griebled and then ones. look at the whiskers. The white whiskers made out of swords. Very, very clever. And I love the little spider web, of course, um, for the little... Great. Right. This one's just lovely. Oh, cool. Oh, With the that reference is, photo. That's wonderful. What a wonderful, wonderful uh, tribute to your pet. And I love and I love that the, that the spider web makes the, um, you the know, white gives the little on the fluff chest. on the chest. <laughs> Brilliant. And the white whiskers, right? Brilliant. Hey, Anna G, how's it going? I don't know if we've seen you here before, but Welcome. Um, and hey, everybody, guess what? If you're new and you're just here hanging out, uh, go down and l- hit that like button, that little thumbs up button underneath there. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe take a moment to subscribe. We would love to have you here. You can get um, notices about when we're doing more shows. Uh, and we do challenges every week. How-tos, guest shows, yeah, history of. We got a lot. we got a lot going on. So uh, welcome, welcome. All right. This is excellent, Griebling Wizard. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, this is from Hooded One, and it's called Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. If you don't know, this is from Rick and Morty. Yep. Um, a very, very kooky, out there, animated show. Super s- surreal, high energy. Yeah, yeah. This is, um, and this is just great. Like, what a great representation. I love that. I remember one of the early ones I saw is our friend Patty did that real, had did a big, uh, a huge rick and morty one yeah it's really great really really fun yeah the hair is fantastic um it's just the (laughs) eyes have that look in them (laughs) yes there is that there is that look that is well and it's so colorful with the pink and the various blues yeah i like the inclusion of the colors and that's the thing that the other thing too that i um that i love about um 
about doing these mosaics is when people choose to go to the like i love the pop art versions of things like we did mm -hmm. sort of just because that was the tiles that we had we did that with ours um but i think it just it works right it's that whole you know well, look, andy the, warhol thing the skin on his face is so pixelated like, yeah you know like like pointillism Hooded one says, strange thing is I see a couple of mistakes now. We always do. We are our own worst critics. I don't see any mistakes. It isn't looks that, great to isn't me. Isn't it funny how you can look at something for 16 hours and not see it, and then you take the photo and you look at it the next day, and you're like, how did I not see it? <laughs> All right. Oh, this yeah. is um, from JMW Music. Awesome, John Williams. Eagle Pride. For a lot of reasons, I went simpler and more personal for this one. My teaching job has had me extra busy, but it's been good busy. A year ago today, we went into a two-week lockdown and ended up lasting the rest of the school year. Teaching during COVID has been incredibly different, but I'm finding more joy in my job this year uh, than any other year in my career so far. This year has been full of ups and downs, but I'm glad mm. to say it has been mostly ups. Thank you for letting me share my Eagle Pride with you all. You are welcome, Yay. JMW Music. I'm going to go ahead and just assume that this is the um, for the school where you work. This is the, your your like the your, ma your mascot team mascot and logo. And logo. This is fantastic. And yes, um, it has been. It's been a long year, and I say, you know, like, you know, I had from teaching after school classes. I've had, you know. You know, I've always had respect for teachers. I got an even greater respect for teachers once I started being in a school and doing it. And now the fact that there are, you know, people who have done this all year under yep. such stressful circumstances, I'm, you know, hats off to you like, yep. many, many times. Now, during that difficult year, we met almost everyone in the chat. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's that right. happened last year. I mean, I was going to say, like, there, are, there have been some silver linings, and I think that this... That tricky, you know, the tricky bricks build and chat, and the tricky lug, um, you know, the evolution of tricky lug, and everything we've been doing here is, is has been one. It certainly has been for us. Yep, I will say that. All right, very nice. Wow! Lousy! Wow! 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 This is. Well, wow. it's enormous for one thing. It's um, really big. This is from KK Bricks, inspired by the Mexican beaded animal characters that have vibrant colors. I wanted to do a Western African elephant face. This model has 8,153 one by one tiles on a base of 144 by 144 studs or 45 inches by 45 inches. I may not be able to join uh, tomorrow, but I started this challenge last night after watching the episode with my pal Kate, aka Brick Huntress, and Yay. thought it would be a fun challenge. So, this is KK Bricks, Christopher Coster. Really, really fantastic. It's just so stunning. And this is a render. Yeah, because uh, uh, he said he started it last night. I mean, I was going to say, I that assume would be a so. Lot of like... Yeah, and I also know that he doesn't have all of his Lego back yet. But this is uh, stunning, and this is something I know. Now we were talking like, just because you do it in studio does not make it any less than because you still need that took a lot it. of work. You still need to build it all. You have to build it. I mean, that's what I discovered when we did ours. Is like, even though I let studio do kind of like the beginning of it for me. Mm -hmm. there's a lot like when i went back and looked at the original artwork there was a lot of detail that like got axed that needs to be put back in so well, the the beadwork and the ears and the tusks christopher is says eight thousand nice. clicks um it makes my hand hurt just i know like my hand is in a claw <laughs> just thinking about it um yeah this is i mean amazing work yeah brick built babe you're right you have to tweak mosaics on studios so much you really yep. do you really do but just, this is such impressive work. Wow. Great work, Christopher. Really, really beautiful. <laughs> oh, this is great. I know that we every knows who this is. Yay, Maggie. Um, and Lego, this is from Lego Cat Creator, who says, It's Maggie. She's back in brick sketch form. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear that sound right now. Right? <clears throat> Sorry. With her with her pacifier. Lego Cat Creator, I want you to know that I get the double Simpsons reference because that is one of my favorite. You know, like when you watch a show for so long, there's just like weird things that stick in your mind. Yeah. And from the Simpsons, there's like a series of little like one liner quotes. And that is one of them that I always remember. Um, it's um, <laughs> it's Millhouse 
and he's very excited about Alf, and, and he has an Alf pog, remember? And he says, it's Alf, he's back, in pog form! <laughs> my favorites so thank you lego cat creator for that because i completely recognize that right away um very funny i love it it's a and again okay look at how much expression and um and out of a small amount of bricks yep and i love that you the the sideways building uh built incorporated um the well it feels super super lego yes you know almost like um, I mean, I guess you wouldn't, but almost like you go to the Lego store and they're like, you can build Maggie out of the bricks on the wall <laughs> this <true>. month. <laughs> Did you know? Okay, here's a, here's, um, I have, a, I actually have a Simpsons tattoo. I did. I did know that. You actually. did know that. I, knew I that. do. I do have a Simpsons tattoo. I don't know if many people have seen it or have heard about it, but I do have one. I wonder if anybody can guess what character i have he has a tattoo if you haven't heard about it already he has a tattoo of marge covering his entire back i do not <laughs> <laughs> um i can't really i can't really show it i can't i can't really show it's it it's not a naughty tattoo no but i you know no, we're i would gonna... have to have like short shorts on <laughs> yeah oh well, no what is actually it? no what i Let's see. Have to have short. Sh no. No, you can't. I can show that. Yes, you can. It's like a copper tone tan. All right. So, um, so Aubrey Kovach got it right. <laughs> it's Ralph Wiggum. I do have. A... <laughs> Joel SF Gamer Simpsons tattoo is so edgy. I have a well. I have it. Okay. So and it gets better. I have the Ralph Wiggum tattoo on the same leg that I have Samantha from Bewitched and a cartoon version of the Bride of Frankenstein. So I'm just saying, like, I don't know if I can show it. Can I show? It? Oh, here now know. you now you have to. There it is. Here I'll even do this. There he is. There now you saw my big leg on TV. Now everybody, as the views, like, <laughs> oh, there's five people. Smoke starts coming out of the computer. The whole image. <laughs> Maggie, Maggie turns around. <laughs> oh my goodness! Anyway, um, so uh, the hooded one was appreciating your tan. Uh, well, I haven't been outside in a long time. <laughs> At least my legs haven't. Um, okay, so yes, thank you so much, uh, the uh, Lego Cat creator uh, Vincent. This is just fantastic. Yep. <laughs> I just turn up and there's Flynn showing off his size brick scene. See, that's what happens when you show up late. <laughs> When we, when we go down that rabbit hole. Um, so there you go. <laughs> Although somewhere there is someone who has a Marge Simpson tattoo covering their entire back. No way. Okay. Oh, oh look, look at from the side. That's She's fantastic. Super free. Look at her hair. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I love those. Uh, I always love those little rounded pieces with the hole, with the hole in it. I always call him Keith. I love it. Now everybody's like, we've gone NC-17. I guess if it was like the 1890s, <laughs> he showed his I ankle. Know. I know. <laughs> hey, I know. you guys He's... asked for it. I'm just saying. you. I wasn't going to do it, and then I was peer pressured into well, it. Well, you didn't have any bloomers on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yay, Lee Crow! Yay! Another Crow. another uh, good friend of mine, Lee, is here checking things out. Um, she's seen that Ralph Wiggum tattoo, I can promise you. All right. This is so fun. Um, this is fantastic. This is from Miss Tap Cat. Oh, yay! Um, and she says, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender is one of my all-time favorite TV shows. I decided to recreate some of the characters in the series in mosaic form. Here is Momo, the flying lemur. He's my biggest mosaic that I've designed so far. 53 by 44 studs, uh, which is 18 inches by 14 inches. Well, his love... big ears and bright green eyes are his most recognizable char characteristics. Very nice. And well, thank I you love... now from distracting from my untanned leg. All right. I love that this has an irregular shape to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. I um it, the eyes are really they just draw you right in they're so pretty. Well and um I yeah so 
you do often see them like on you know like a big base plate but yeah that you're right like the shaping of it and mm -hmm. having it be irregular on the outside is really you know like when you see a cut out piece of art right yep really it's really really cool again any these seem like i could really see this in the living room right you yep. know like it just seems like i love these objects oh and um uh uh Kate points out, Brick Huntress points out that Kat has a style all her own. She does. This is very evocative of her style with the <laughs> shapes. Like, that is, that's one of the things that she likes to do. Awesome. All right. Whoa. Oh I know what this is, and my it's really goodness. awesome. Very, very, very cool. I so, know what this is, too, and I, I wouldn't have a month ago. You wouldn't have a month ago. So, this is from Monica Berry. Wanda Vision, one Wanda Vision. I was just listening that to that this morning, believe it or not, and because I had to hear the Agatha all along jam, and it was so good, I just couldn't, I couldn't help it. Um, this is done by eye, no studio or anything used. Seventy-two by seventy-two. The whole mock weighs almost five and a half pounds. I think the two halves look better by themselves, so I digitally split them and submitted those two. Wow. Well, I love them together as a as a whole piece. Yeah, I do too. Wow, and I'm so impressed. Her now, hair is great. The modeling on his cheek. Mm -hmm. Now this is done in plates rather than like in dots, and mm -hmm. I it, it's just fantastic. It looks it's massive. Well, and then the the tiny details in her crown. Yep. Yep. Wow. Wow. So here's the digitally split version. Um, with the two ha with the two separate halves. But, wow. I don't know. I love them together. I do too. I do too. I really. Oh, wow. So the shading is yeah. really is, is just really so fantastic. Oh, oh. Sometimes I I squint too, and they resolve more. Of course, this is making me now want to go back and watch WandaVision again. <laughs> um, I've already watched it like one and a half too times. Soon. No, it's never too soon. It's never too soon for WandaVision friends. I'm just letting you know. Well, never people, too soon. Oop. You know, some people buy a DVD and then they never look at it again. I think um, in the land of media, Flynn gets his money worth, money's worth because he watches the things he likes over and over again. <laughs> All right, WandaVision. This is great. We can watch it. I'll watch it from the beginning with you. Okay. We still have to watch the other ones first, though. All right. Okay, so this is from Ms. Slow Brickta, and this is called Ms. Slow Brickta with pre-COVID hair. <laughs> <laughs> no digital aids were harmed in the making of this mosaic. Uh, my first ever one-by-one -one round plate mosaic and self-portrait. A 32x32 32 32 base plate covered with my $50 BrickLink winnings from ABC Builds and the Holiday and the Holiday Habitats drawing. Oh, cool. Um, pick number two is the reference photo I use. Life has gotten crazy, and I hate missing the live streams and chat, but I follow in the evenings, especially to see the slideshows and find out about the new challenge. Happy building, Ms. Slow Brickta. This is so nice. Wow, that's so great. And let's go ahead and see the... And there's the reference photo. Face reveal. Yay. Face reveal. Hi, nice that's to meet they, you. That's what they call that on the internet, a face reveal. If you like, yeah. have never seen someone's face before and they show it, suddenly it's a face reveal. Um, really great self-portrait. And how great to see. Now, okay. And I have to bring this up um, just because um, Ms. Slobrichta joined into the hobby like only very recently and has mm -hmm. just like skyrocketed like the amount of work and like the talent and it's just it she's done such an incredible job but yeah really really fantastic um self-portrait well and to get like a portrait in this at that resolution too like that's really careful work that one pixel one way or the other would change an expression yeah absolutely all right this is from P.T. McEwen. A strawberry. Um, oh, no, this isn't. This isn't. This is from Patrick Wismer. Sorry. Uh, they were in reverse order. Patrick Wismer, banana, inspired by my daughter's default response to any question I ask ever, banana. <laughs> <laughs> I like her already. Uh, well, you know, I look at this and, it may, of course, I think of, like, the Velvet Underground album. And mm. then I, I, you know, I, there are so many, like, the um, Andy Warhol and so many things come to mind. But this is great. 
<laughs> she comes from a Lego Jedi family. <laughs> and look, it looks like it's just about, it's just about right. It's just about right. It hasn't moved on to banana bread level yet like all of our bananas do. Right, exactly. It's not, <laughs> it's not lime green. It's not a puddle. It smells it's just right. <laughs> you know, you get to that phase, you're like, maybe we should make some banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent. I love it. Uh, okay. Oh, now this is from P.T. McEwen. Yay. After some zhuzhing, spelled correctly, after some zhuzhing and noodling, I got this to work right. I present Ginger Pup. She is an 11-year-old mutt that we met at the Pasadena Humane Society four years ago. Our son had one request, a dog that would play fetch, and Ginger loves to play fetch. She has a box of squeaky toys at the ready. I have included the modified picture of Ginger, the original mosaic, and the $400 version of the mosaic in a render, 64 by 64 studs. This, this is, is great. What a sweet face. And the markings in pink and yellow. Yeah, I, I love the, the coral. We've got some coral there going on there. Coral. Um, One, two, three, four, five. There's like fewer than twelve colors here. Coral. I think. coral. Um, yes, we. Uh, it's it's just so good. I love the and I love the pink and the blue and yellow. It's so dynamic. Now, is this is this a rebrick from the Maryland mosaic, or did you just have these? Because it looks like that similar color palette. Yeah, it right? looks like a similar color palette. Look at the but, expression wow. around the eyes with just a few pixels. <laughs> it's really great. And you know Logan's favorite game too. It's a combination, combi combination game: tug and fetch. You gotta growl a whole lot, and Thanks, then Monica. I throw it, and he goes and gets it. <laughs> oh, Monica's over on Facebook now. Watch out. Um, re these are. This is just fantastic. So, and there's hey, the original hi. photo. A face reveal. <laughs> I know. Face reveal. Face reveal. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. This is wonderful. Of course, it makes me think of Logan's Cookie Time. Yep. Um, really, really great. And then that's like this. The I guess like the super fancy version that um, the render that says that it's yeah. Oh, they're expensive. It. These are not cheap to put together. I gotta say, really fantastic. Well, and that's all tiles too. <laughs> you know, the mosaic set came with a, a minifigure crowbar. That's the perfect tool. Yes. Yes, it's true. Okay, so the Hornburgers say, This week we use Pearl Jam album cover as the inspiration for this week's mosaic. I was going to say, the detail in I this was gonna say, it looks, this is amazing. This must be like about a thousand base plates by a thousand <laughs> base plates. And photographed from about, you know, like across the house. <laughs> um, oh, yay. very nice. And it's dimensional as well. Um, because those, those are the lime green here in the corner are are those uh, inverse slopes they look like inverse sticking slopes. out there yeah so this has got some dimension to it wow really really great Ugh, avocado this one mm. looks like this one's just right it is just, it's just ready <laughs> see we've moved on from talking about the aesthetics to pieces to talking about the ripeness of food <laughs> Do you think we need breakfast? I think I need to lean <laughs> off and and have another bite of my bagel. But I'm sure. Um, no, I, I. But I do love that this has gonna... dimension to it. It makes. Um, it just. It makes so much sense. Well, and I love any any Lego text work. How long did you spend on that R before? You know, before deciding on that, and did you have to change the height of all the you know pearl word because of the R? I think that one little detail can change everything. Mm. Are you doing there? I'm all right. You wanna you wanna whistle Wait, a tune? A no. You sure? Mm. Okay, and now for our whistling portion. <laughs> no, there will be no whistling. All right. Here we go. Excellent hornburgers. All right. So this is from WGJL Builds. I decided to make a mosaic of my cat. She is cute, and she inspired me to make my mosaic. I added whiskers, um, her brownish green eyes, her mouth, and her nose. I hope you like my mosaic. I added a reference photo of my cat to compare. Very Look at cute. Her little nose, softest thing in the room. 
Well, I love it that it has a very like Felix the Cat, like old school animated. Oh, feel. like the big eyes, right? like you know, like, like the style. Yeah. Um, the and clips, the nose is super cute. The nose is great. The whiskers are fantastic with the clips. And I and really like that, the choice of colors. What's that piece on the mouth, like the upper part of the mouth there? It looks like a, a cheese curd? wedge. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. okay, it's, yeah, it's right, it's small. Yeah, and then I think the bottom is oh, one of those curves that goes you know all the way what it across. Is? I think it's a cheese wedge on a, on a jump plate. Oh, very clever. Could be, right? All right. Let's curved see the slope. reference. Curved slope. All right. Let's see the reference photo. And there's oh, a reference oh, photo. Sweetie. Very cute. I love everybody. Everybody turning in their like pet photos is great. Hello, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Can you have some kooks? Oh, and of course you have to have a side by side. Yep. Very good. I have to say, really good choice for the eye color. Yeah, because that's a the, hard color to match. And the one by two, the one by two for the irises too. Mm -hmm. All right, this is. I've got to put my glasses back on. Um, this is from Wilfred. I went for an extra challenge. In less than one hour, I built a 12 by 16 <laughs> brick sketches of a Katamari Damacy character using only bricks from the previously featured on Tricky Brick's friend set, Andrea's Family House. Oh, that's a wow. great challenge. I love the King of the Cosmos and. Yes, extra points for, for only using the Andrea's family house um, bricks. That's well, so great. Look at his face with his little mouth, and he always has that that red nose, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, he has that and like the, big and funny crown. red nose. It the crown especially, like his head is fantastic. And I don't know if you've like if you've ever played Katamari Damacy. It's a really fun, colorful, completely bonkers game. Like, it it's is. Just, bonkers just, doesn't even say it. Like, the yeah. music is beyond bonkers. It's so great. I love the music, and I love the animation. And the, <clears throat> the so this guy, the king of the cos, king of all cosmos, comes out and, like, basically berates you at the end of everyone. No matter how good you do. He almost always says, yeah, it could have been, 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 been a been bigger better. Or maybe that's just how I play it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just my <laughs> lack of katamari skill. I don't know you but rolled up some pretty big I've katamaris. I've rolled up some big katamaris. It's true. Ah, oh, very good. I love it, and I love the challenge. Uh, just perfect. All right. Oh, look, and we have more. Um, that looks because that looks like Liz to me. Yep. Um, this is from um oh this is elena zaccardi oh elena i'm so excited that you did this this is beautiful um, for elena's second submission to date she collaborated with lana for a mother-daughter saint patrick's day scene of a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow look at that that's wonderful what a happy cheerful scene and liz and liz is on um on a headlight brick or a snot it looks like a, a yeah like a snot a it's snot brick. so dimensional I cheerful love it. sun like really painterly little sun there mm -hmm. i love the i love the rainbow i love the pot of gold yeah the sun with the little uh corner round tiles is fantastic some yeah. gold spilled out on the sides it's 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 lovely and and just cute and it makes me happy i need that i need that to be like a, a little icon on my computer i need to i want some new icon donnie a bear that is the um funny you would ask um, it's from Andrea's family house that we put on that we put together on the show last week. That's Liz. She's a micro doll. Right? She's a micro doll, and she is Andrea's little sister. And she can hold little fringe accessories in her hands. Yeah, it's um, she's super cute. Um, very good. Thank you, Elena and uh, and Lana what together. That's project. so great. Um, Wow! This is from uh, this is from Lana Zaccardi. Okay, I gotta say um, in a big way, coral, coral. I think I see some coral <laughs> in this piece. Um, this is Lana is, util is utilizing dots again this week in the creation of her mosaic. Really, really great. Well, it's got those dimensional um, duotone stars. Yeah, um, yes. lots of fun printed tiles. And those um, those pearlescent one by ones too. 
Yeah, it's I and I love the. I mean, it's just like artistically designed really well. Yeah, I I always think like, what if you walked around and and you were just you know this this big walking through a giant metropolitan like New York art gallery and this was on the wall and there were like fifteen people standing around with their hands on their chins. Well, and I love that it's on a little um, easel. On an easel, and, really, it just looks great. Yeah, fantastic, great colors, and I love the little like the emoji sort of things like going down the middle or little words it's really fun well those those stars are one of my favorite new pieces too mm -hmm. and i'd like to see a lot more stuff made in that pearlescent like how about some ghosts yes ghosts and pearlescent i want ghosts all right this Ooh, is from rob again. zicardi um uh, i'm not great with mosaics but i wanted to push myself and take a stab that's why we do these challenges. Very good, mm -hmm. Rob. And this is, um, a tech, I wanted to take a stab at my wife Elena's favorite painting, Monet's Water Lilies. This is, now, do we have well, a reference no photo? The, there we go. The There's our reference photo. The color palette is just great. It's beautiful. And the, the, um, the sort of decorative treatment on the bridge. Yeah. And my favorite part is the willow trees. At, at the top with the um and using the um uh, grills again to give us motion and the um the yeah. grills that are also on little uh, tri or, uh slopes well and you know well. on on its own it's pretty abstract right it's pretty um these are these are basic shapes and a really abstract pattern it's mm -hmm. so beautiful it's, and then you see it with the original pleasing. And the color palettes right there. Yeah, it's 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 really and great, the little Rob. the little um, lily flowers in the water, the white quarter rounds. Well, you know, this makes me think of um, Kate uh, Brick Huntress did that little micro mosaic for Mel's uh, piece that he did. Mm. She showed us on the show the other day. Yeah, and um, to take like a huge art piece and and it was sort it of was small, like distill maybe it eight down. By yeah, it was very small, and but like 16. and like distilling its like impressions down to a small, and I just think this is perfect. It's oh, done such a great job. I love Wilfred. That's right, cubism by expressionism somehow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice mix. It's more cheerful than a lot of cubist pieces. Uh, sorry, I'm doing a little bit of behind the scenes right sure. now. I'll be right there. Um, well, it kind of shimmers. A little like uh, I mean I don't know I don't think I'm reading too much into it when I say when my eyes travel across the um, water and down the willow trees there's a shimmer to it just those little sparks yeah. Shane LeVan thank oh, you so thank much thank you Shane for your super chat we appreciate that oh my goodness thank you so much really really nice wow and Joel, Joel Bella, another super too. chat thank you guys so much just really really appreciate that well there's just been amazing amazing work today absolutely brett, brett wow Hooper, my goodness thank you so much i don't if we're on like a super chat train <laughs> wow that is fantastic wow wait where's all what, this coming i don't know from? what happened this is here. crazy this is awesome you guys this is wow i i'm I'm blown away. Thank you so much. Whoa! Thank you, brother from another brick. Um, gosh, I'm I'm taken aback oh, right no. now. <laughs> like this is this is great. It's showing up here on uh. It's yeah. It's I don't know up if, here if on my end. I don't know if we're catching up or this is all happening now. But this is crazy. Wow. And and Matthew. Yes. I mean, wow. And another one from Matthew. I don't know how this is uh how this is happening right now. It's like but the this mail is just great. arrived. Yeah, this is um And of of the current piece, um Yano oh where did where did wow. Yano's comment go? Um great colors and love the use of trans neon green. Yes. Oh yeah, the the grills in the Oh thank you, Rob, catch your side. Um Matthew Heise. I think I'm gonna have to turn this up a little bit. Oh, Oh gosh, yeah, these are old. I don't know why they're just yeah, showing I think up here all of a sudden. We just got a bunch of this showed up all at once. Oh, thank you, Rob Ketterside, so much, and thank you, Delicious Foods, so and, much. I'm not quite sure what's happening right now, you guys. And but Br Brick Studio, it's kind of like we put. It was like the dam broke, and then all of a sudden, all of the things. So I'm gonna, you know what? I think I'm gonna turn this off. Give me just a second, so we don't get distracted from the rest of the show. Yeah, um, we oh, now save... now we're caught up. There's Rob. <laughs> thank you, so excited, um, and thank you, delicious foods. Thank you much. Um, 
All right. Wow, that was very that was good. Crazy. That, I don't know what happened there, but um, well, we got to stay on a lovely, lovely screen here <laughs> too for a while. Was. All right. Whew. Sorry uh -oh. about that, everybody. That was like I, that was crazy. That had nothing to do with me. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, okay. everyone, put your frogs away. I know everybody. Hide your frogs. Hide your eggs. Um, uh, let's see. So Vanessa's mosaic should be very obvious for Vanessa and Lana. He will always be Baby Yoda. Yay, Same. Baby Yoda. Same, y'all. Um, this is wonderful. Very, uh, very of the moment, if you will. <laughs> like we, we finally finished watching all the episodes, and then we watched his dark materials and all of the things. And goodness, highly recommend both of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really fantastic. But wow, what I love it. Fun, and it's got like, and I love that it's got kind of like a brickheads look to it a bit, right? And, and he's got that kind of. It's almost like he travels around in burlap, right? It doesn't look like a com <laughs> comfy outfit he's in. Oh, Monica says, do we get a Tricky Brick cereal now? It's funny that you would say that. It is very funny. It's very funny that you would say that because I have a question I want to ask the chat, but I'm going to wait until we're... And actually, I think we just got enough in in Super Chats that I could actually do what I wanted to do. But we'll talk about that in a second. Anyway, um, this... So, uh, Vanessa Zaccardi, Baby Yoda, I love it. And I love the little... I love the border, especially with the... The purple and the the um, uh, oh gosh, medium azure. I'm also you know it's a subtle thing, but I'm really a fan of symmetrical treatment of of how the bricks are laid down on a face. Like in in a piece this small, the the edges of the bricks really matter a lot, and I think it makes his face a lot more believable. Really mm -hmm. great work on that. <laughs> hey Flynn. Hey, hey, keep talking about I will Yoda. talk. <laughs> He's also, you know, the choice, um, given given the two pretty muted colors of Baby Yoda whistling time again, um, I think adding the color around the frame is really nice. It's great. And the and the um, trans pieces give it more sparkle, too. What a fun piece. All right. Um, thank you. Uh, thanks, Vanessa. All right, so if you were watching our show on Sunday, <laughs> this is Holly's, and I... <laughs> I love this so much. Um, so this is um, this is Holly's, and this is based on a a Japanese um, like Star Wars um, like bootleg Ask? thing, it and it's a, a token from a board game. So here's the original. <laughs> here's the original photo. This makes me laugh so hard. This is really, really great. Well, yeah. I just... From the Holly Spite Build Collection, <laughs> says Johnny. <laughs> yeah, this is um, this is truly fantastic. I love it. It's just so funny and so ridiculous. That Have you ever seen a Wookiee look just like that? And I'm so glad, Holly, that you got past your initial, like, uh about it because yeah <laughs> it just gotta kinda it's go. like a cross between chewbacca and sweetums no not sweet not sweetums who is it who has kind of the... like a cross between chewbacca and and um and not the abominable snowman bigfoot it's kind of like bigfoot meets no who's, <laughs> who's the one that bugs bunny does his hair and he wears he wears chucks. Oh yes, it is kind of, it kind that's of looks who I'm like Gossamer. About. Gossamer, thank you, Gossamer. <laughs> Good job, Glenn. You know your monsters. It does actually, Car. You're right. It does kind of look like that funny um, that funny figure that we showed at the beginning of the show. The big this one. <laughs> I think that is what it is actually, right? Like there's quite a resemblance. <laughs> All right. This is so, so fun, and and this is going to hang up at their house too. Yes, it's very much so. It's a grimace, Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally grimace. It's me, Uncle O Grimacy. <laughs> no, Uncle O Grimacy. Oh, speaking of which, what you don't want a shamrock shake? I do, really bad actually. Um, I wanted to, um, real quick. I wanted so. All right, so that was that's all for today. Really amazing mosaics. We have ours that we're going to show in a minute. 
We started working on it the other day. It's unfinished, as okay, I mentioned. Okay, it's your project, and I and I helped on it. I helped put down things. All right. I just say insist. that because it's really a great design, and well, I want you to take credit for it. Thank you, honey. Um, I will show that. In, uh, look, we'll go ahead and show that right now. All right. So here's ours. Right. I started working on it the other day. Do we now, have any? Uh, oh, oh and I have... wanted to mention that Holly's was done completely using the pieces from the Hogwarts mosaic that Lego sent us. Now, I tried to combine both. You tried very. I tried very, very hard, hard to, to combine both the Iron Man and the Hogwarts one into into this. Now and her her eyes are gonna get a little kooky, right? Well, it's gonna be yes. Her eye, well, and actually, I found out I need to change her eyes to blue because she has blue eyes instead. But oh, anyway, you can see. See, do you like it? Do you like the detail? Well, I worked it's really subtle. hard on it. It's it's a three by five mosaic. Yeah, um, it's really it's really fun. Anyway, this is the real thing. Now, I found. Um, yeah, let's tilt it down for reflection. Yeah. So I found that I was about like. 800 bright red um bright red pieces short okay you want to know like this right here we're like oh there's only a few left and then we multiply it, like 800. it out yeah and so we and we even tried to switch you can see here i'm like holding it up with my head you can even see here where we tried to switch to using the dark red to see if we could make it work didn't have enough of those either so we're going to swap it out we're going to do our whole crown in bright red with with some with dark, dark red, red built in you know, shading. And then I went back to the original, and there, are, there's actually a lot more detail in her hair that I'm going to go yeah. in and replace uh, pieces. But, but yeah, I think you did a great job with her eyes. Thank and right you. now, her eyes are keying out, and they're actually showing as They're blue. actually showing as blue, exactly. They're green on the thing, but they, I need to change them to blue. But anyway, I was really happy with the way it came oh. out. Um, and, um, and we'll put a frame on it, too. Yeah, we're going to do the frame and, and all that stuff. And then we're putting it up. Yeah, so I will, um, I'll show it when it's completely finished. Sorry we weren't able to finish it, but lack of pieces, you know, what are you going to do? Oh, now, Wolfred is suggesting red plates. So far, it's all one by one. Yeah, right? I want us to, I'd like to do the one plates, but thankfully, one of our, uh, uh, of our friends, uh, Donnie Bear, has a, a, a Bricklink store, um, ABC Builds, and he's like, oh, I actually have a whole bunch of those red plates so he's yep. um he's going he's been good enough to send us those plates and we'll finish it up so and we're considering brick huntress's um uh advice on it too to make it a little more dimensional and stand out some of the outlines or other elements you know a plate or so out from the base right to well add, add texture i'm really excited it's got me really excited now about like comic panels um and, you know of yes. course inspired, well, inspired by brick huntress by her, right, right? <clears throat> But um, really, really fantastic. I want to do one of Vision now. I like. I feel like I want to do one of Vision to go with it because you kind of yeah. have to. Like I want. I liked when the two of you had your heads together. <laughs> it was very nice. Me and Wanda. I know it's Friday. Like, what are we gonna do? There's no Wanda Vision to watch, and I'm just. Yeah. I know. Okay, so I'm not ready to start a new long, complicated drama. We just we just finished a couple of series, right? And we'll start one. But I was ready. I was like, well, let's just do a one off. So we watched last night, The Brood. <sighs> Do not watch The Brood okay, unless you really appreciate one Oliver Reed and two terrible horror movies that almost never get to the point from the seventies. Okay, so I gotta t I gotta tell you. So it's an early David Cronenberg made in Canada. It, uh, it had all the ingredients of being awesome. And I I have to tell you that. It was terrible. Like, it was so terrible. Awful. And I and so I went online, as I often do, to look to look at things like either while I'm or after I'm looking at them, yeah. going like, what was significant about this? And I'm I have to say, I feel like the term cult movie is thrown around like way too often. Like, yeah, Rocky I, I Horror agree. Picture Show is like a cult film. That's a cult film. The Brood is just terrible. Yeah, a terrible. I don't think it's a cult film. Film that no one should watch. No, it's kind of a. It's. I mean, it has some some kooky effects, but it's kind of a dreary take on psychoanalysis. Ugh. But it just doesn't get to. I don't know. I mean, if you like Oliver Reed, and I will watch everything that he ever did. 
Um, even the stinkers. Um, this this is one of those. Yes. So hey, how actually, does that sound? So you know what we have to do? What's that? We have to announce what the next challenge is going to be. Okay. And I'm looking here at the list right now of of things. I saw one I was really excited about. Oh, you saw one you were yeah, excited now, about? Now, are we going to roll, or what are we going to do there? I think that we should roll. Okay, how many are there? I'll get my dice. Um, I, I've got dice right here. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll get out my dice tomorrow. We're not playing again until tomorrow. I've got my pink die here. Yeah, Merry Christmas. All right. So, I'm going to roll, and we'll see what we got. We should do the top cam, so you can see... What is it? 13. Ooh, lucky 13. What is going to be the 13th one on the list? Because, you know, we figured all this out ahead of time. <laughs> so change, me, our, change our buttons from... There you so, go. So give me a Please, second to, pick, to count down to 13. One, one two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Isn't it fun? Didn't you tune in to see us count? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... Oh, 13. Didn't we do that one already? No, we didn't. We didn't, and it's a great one, and we had it on our short list. I'm yes, so we did glad. have it on our short list. Thank you, Dice. The new, the new challenge theme is insects. insects. It is insects. It is going to be to build an insect, and that's whether you build a three-dimensional insect, if you do a mosaic insect. Um, it's, it, that is uh, up you to know, you. Butterflies, worms, bugs. Uh, arachnids count. Yeah, oh, They'll yes, be all right. You can use arachnids. Arachnids definitely count. And now I gotta see who was it? P.T. McEwen? Um, he's it, he has done it's a lot of them. It's because he suggest, he, he made a lot of great a lot of them. And I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna have to go through. Let me see if I can figure Imagine. out who did insects. But, but I think this is gonna be. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a fun theme. Beetles, praying mantises, mm. ants. Yes. Okay, so is it make an insect and it's a thing that swooshable? It doesn't matter. Or it doesn't matter. You it could make matter. a mosaic make whatever of you want. Yes, P.T. McEwen, you were right. Like, wow. <laughs> it is P.T. McEwen. Thanks, P.T. Um, yeah, so uh, let's uh, have fun with that one. Yeah, whatever right? that means. As big or as small as you want. Yeah, there's... Um, Make more than one insect and put them together. Yeah, so there you go. Insects is the theme. No size limit. Do what you're going to do. Make a mosaic. Make a 3D insect. Make a Mac make a mech in an in in the mech, mech. Sec, i don't uh, think that works sorry no sorry about that that was a the swing and a miss <laughs> everybody um but yeah Ooh, so i think insects. i know where i want to go already you do I'm, I'm sure i'll change yeah okay it's a secret well very cool well i can't wait to see what you come up with me neither. I, for one, can't wait to see what you come up with, honey. Thank you very much. <laughs> he's, he's very supportive. Um, so uh, thank you, everybody, so much for joining us today. Thank you for turning in all of these uh, just wonderful mosaics. I'm what excited a great time. about mosaics now. Me too. I want to do, I want to do more of them. And I'm going to do something that we haven't done in a really, really long time. What's that? That's this. Um, if you want to find us on Instagram, mm. you can do so. Uh, Instagram at Tricky Bricks. You could also email me with questions, comments, uh, what have you, Flynn at trickybricks.com. Or if you want to send us something through the snail mail, you may do so at Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, California 94611. So there you go. I haven't done that in a long time. I know, it's been a while. Long time. Um, but uh, let's see, we will be back on Sunday. Haven't quite. Um, we don't have a theme yet, and we don't have a guest list. <laughs> we Sunday have, is a little. What we have for Sunday is ideas. We, we have lots of we have ideas. lots of really good ideas. Um, but we look forward to seeing you then. So yeah, you know we're gonna hang out together and chat, right? Yeah, exactly. So yes. Until next time, everybody. Uh, don't forget to. Oh, and don't forget follow Tricky Lug on Instagram. Because everybody's uh, um, everybody pieces ends up there, like after the slideshows, if you post them on there. So with you make sure. It, right? Oh no, Aubrey, you're right. The cereal. <laughs> I forgot about the cereal, everybody. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this was a last minute hot okay, take so, right before we went on. You there. know, I love, I love Creepy Company. It is like one of my favorite TV t-shirt places. It's where I got this one and a bunch of the other t-shirts that you've seen me wear um, from Creepy Company. Now, they just came out with a new t-shirt last night, and I, okay, I'm cheap. 
like 20 bucks for a t-shirt is kind of my limit i'll even go as far as 25 if it's yeah if it's like a um what like uh like at a theme park or something and i want to get it because we're right there we have lots but, of original art in our house but not much couture so they just came out with this <laughs> And I really love it. But it is more, it is, it's even more than my top. <laughs> it's even more than my top tier. And I wanted to get an I wanted to get a um a vote from the from the chat. Should I go ahead and just, you know, like say, you know what, I will give up on my on my principles of not spending more than, you know, twenty dollars on a t shirt to get this t shirt. So okay, I, I'll I'll say my thing when we're thinking about purchases. I'm not allowed to buy any more T-shirts. No, wait 24 hours, and if it still <laughs> seems like a good idea tomorrow, then you may have. <laughs> Do you like this? Do you like that I've put this on you guys now? Yeah. <laughs> I like it a lot. I mean, are you going to look back and and lament that you didn't get this t-shirt? Probably. <laughs> you could hand wash it forever. And well, and I mean to uh, yeah, he I would just... do well to give me that advice, Wilfred. <laughs> <laughs> I must I absolutely have to have this and then tomorrow it was like, what is this? I mean, would I wear it all year? Yes, 100%. <laughs> Of course I would. Okay, the thing I don't understand here. So I understand all of these things. There's the candy corns, the coffin. Between the coffin and the ghost, is that a VHS yes, cassette? Yes, it's a VHS cassette tape. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, so it's a take on some of their um, like their designs that they have for themselves. They have a whole like VHS thing. So anyway, I just thought I would show you guys to see what you think. And then that way, now I don't. Now I can feel not guilty about buying it. <laughs> Always after me, creepy Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Yeah. Oh, anyway, there you go. We did get. You know, it's true. We did get twenty five dollars in super chat today, but I don't. We don't spend any of the money that comes into super chat and um and through yeah, Patreon. Yeah, we actually we work outside of of Tricky Lug, and everything that comes in um, from Tricky Lug or in super chats, all of that goes right back into the show and Tricky Lug. And Tricky oh, Lug. Fabby Fam he says um two XL. Oh, great! So all the medium and larges are gone already. Oh. Guess I'm not getting it. I should have just I should have acted when I saw it. I got the email last night, and I was like, oh, uh, but, you know, anyway. I don't know. We'll get out your grandma's sewing machine, and we can tailor it right to... No just one, take a picture of it. No one wants us to tailor and, shirts. And tape it to my voice. <laughs> Why don't you 3D print one? Yeah, I'll 3D print a shirt. That'll be very comfortable. All right, everybody, we're really going this time. Uh, thank right. you so much for joining us. And, and um, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, and we will see you on Sunday at 10 a.m. Bye, everyone. Happy building. <laughs>